Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this rack and pinion animation in Swordbox 2022. So let's start. So here you can see I am in assembly mode. So first thing you have to do is go to your design library. Okay. So in design library, click on toolbox. Then click on NSI metric, click on power transmission, click on gears and select the gear as per my requirements. So in my case, uh, the first one that I am going to use is per gear. Now, something you need to remember that, that the module of this gear and the rack must be same. If the module is different, uh, your animation or your gear will not match correctly. Okay. So module is one and number of teeth is 20. You can see my other properties as well. Okay. So click OK. After that, again, click on design library and drag this. Okay. So this is my rack and make sure that it has also has a module of one and you can see my properties. So you can use same properties as well. Now click OK. Now if I try to move this gear, you can see I'm getting a pop up that the selected component is fixed and it cannot be moved. So to move it, right click on it and click on float. Now if I try to move it, you can see now I can move this component. Now first thing that I have to do is I have to place the, the this gear in correct orientation of place with mates so that this gear can't be moved with rotate components. I only want that it can just rotate at its position not move like this. Okay. So let's see how to approach. So first select the top plane click on sketch. Now draw a center line as I am showing. Make sure the line is vertical. Press escape. After that exit the sketch mode. Now click on mates and select this and this line. Make sure it is concentric. Click OK. After that select this face and select the front plane. Click OK. Now if you look of this gear now, I can't move. I, the only thing I can do is rotate. I can't move it left, I can't move it right, I can't move it top, okay. The only thing it can do is rotate and this is basically what I want. Now similarly, I want that this gear just move left and right. It can't move upward and downward. So let's see how to approach this. First thing we have to do is click on mate, select this face and this face. Click OK. In that way it can't move in this direction, okay. Now how can I calculate distance from here to here? So here's the trick. What you need to do is select this gear, go here and click on here, right click, click on show. If you know correctly that pitch circle, what is the pitch circle diameter? It is module types number of teeth. So it has a module of one and number of teeth is 20. So one into 20, it, one into 20, I mean, it means I get a diameter of 20 mm, but I need the half of it from here to here. So it is uh, 10 because it is a distance from here to here. So what we are going to do is go to the mates, select this line. This is a pitch circle line. Okay. And select the top plane and enter the value of in distance, enter the values 10 mm. Click OK. So if you look at it, select this face, press Ctrl plus 8. You can see it is at the correct place. Now how can I animate these gears. So to do that, what you need to do is just clear the selection, go to the mechanical, click on rack and pinion. So select this edge as a rack and to pinion, select this. Or if you select this, you will get a wrong di pitch diameter, it is 10 mm. So it is not the correct value. To always select the correct value, what you can do is go here and Right click, click on show, press control, sorry, select this face, okay, and just go here and select this. In that way, you will always get the correct value of 20, okay. I highly recommend use this method because this method will always give you right values and correct results, okay. And here you notice that my gears are not matched correctly, so just click on okay now. Now, if I try to do animate, you can see they are not move. They are not at the correct place. So what you can do is 
go here right click click on suppress then move this gear to cut place as per your requirement then right click click on unsuppress after that if you try to move it you can see you are getting correct mesh okay now let's hide this sketch so go here sketch and to animate it go to the motion study click on motor select this just you know that i have created this special course on motion study so if you want to learn about motion study how to do analysis and more in solveworks check out my course link in description and there is a free course as well so make sure that you check out both and click ok now click uh, before i do the animation go here and increase the fps so that we can better quality of any anim animation now click on calculate you see it is moving forward and backward uh, the reason is that I am getting, I am using this playback mode reciprocate. That is the reason I am getting fro, uh, forward and backward. So make sure that you also use that to get the same animation. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts or inquiries, feel free to ask questions. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.